What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fedi and welcome to my channel. And as the title implies, today we are gonna talk about Kentro Pharma's new release data about their research compound, the androgen receptor degrader GT20029. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest breakthroughs or release data in the hair restoration sector. I post here weekly, pretty much, and if there's any news or released updates, you probably would find it here. So uh, please uh, click on that notification bell. Also, I've been noticing an increased number of questions on my previously posted videos, especially on the video about pyrolutamide. So here is my Instagram. I decided to make a Q&A video. You guys can send me uh, all your questions or if you want to inquire about whether about hair loss or vitiligo or any medical condition really uh, that you couldn't find the answer to online. And I will make sure to uh, do all efforts to answer those questions in a separate video I will make. So at this point, the majority of you know about Kentor Pharma. It's a Chinese-based pharmaceutical company that's most famously known for their uh, compound KX826, which is also known as pyrolutamide. But the thing is, JT20029 has a completely different mechanism than pyrolutamide. Pyrolutamide is a direct androgen receptor antagonist. It binds to androgen receptor and it prevents them from functioning normally. But GT20029 is also called a PROTAC or a proteolysis targeting chimera. And don't let these complicated names confuse you. Proteolysis basically means a degradation of proteins. So what GT20029 basically does is it hijacks the uh, protein degradation system we have in our body cells. In our cells, we have these structures called proteasomes, and proteasomes are basically compounds that uh, have tagged proteins and they degrade those proteins because the cell doesn't need those proteins anymore. And uh, this new technology, ProTac, basically have this concept that if we could just hijack the ubiquitin uh, proteasome system, which, which is basically the uh, tagging system for the proteins to be degraded by the proteasomes, we can choose any protein we want, any pathological protein, in this case androgen receptors, uh, and other neurological research subjects. Um, there were uh, scientists looking for a possibility to degrade uh, prions, which are also pathological proteins that cause completely different disease. Uh, Quisfit Jacobs disease, but in this case, scientists were looking for basically programming the ubiquitin proteasome system to specifically degrade the androgen receptor on the hair follicles. Therefore, there will be no androgen receptors on the hair follicles, and DHT won't find any receptors to bind into, so it won't have any negative impact on hair follicles. So this study is conducted in China. There was actually a study conducted in the US as well, a phase one clinical study, but the data we received for now is from the Chinese study. So this study was a double-blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled study, and approximately 100 patients received different dosing of GT20029. And a little reminder about phase one clinical trials. The main goal of phase one clinical trials is firstly to make a, an assessment of the safety profile on a minor scale, not a large scale, that would be done on phase two and phase three clinical trials, as well as to get an idea of what would be the optimal dosing protocol to be followed during the phase two and phase three clinical trials. So the authors of the study tried giving the patients, the 100 patients, uh, different doses during the duration of the study. And along the way, they tried to assess the safety profile as well as the efficacy of the compound. And the good news is on the single dose administration subjects, there was no detectable drug concentration in the blood, meaning there were pretty much no uh, systemic absorption, or if there was any systemic absorption, it was nearly undetectable. 
by laboratory findings. But when we try to give double or multi-dosing uh, protocols to the same subjects, we noticed that there was indeed a uh, systemic absorption because there was indeed reports of positive drug concentrations uh, in the serum of these patients that now received multi-dosing protocols of GT20029. But those concentrations were really, really mild and uh, the average of the concentration was 0.05 nanogram per milliliter. And that pretty much translated to the treatment related adverse events because no serious side effects or no side effects above grade one were reported during the duration of the study. And it was even less than the absorption detected in the phase two clinical trials for pyrolutamide. So you can get an idea of how safe this new compound uh, seems to be. Doctors at Kentor Pharma were also concerned about the uh, damage to the skin uh, related to the repeated administration of this topical androgen receptor degrader. I mean, after all, this is uh, a compound that degrades androgen, androgen receptors and it can have a negative impact on the skin in terms of damaging it. But Dr. Tang, the founder of Kentor Pharma, assured that there was no damage to the skin surface even after repeated high dose administration, top cut administration of GT20029. So uh, yeah, the results are overall promising, I think, especially in terms of the safety profile, but we still need to wait for the full results to be released by Kentro Pharma to get an idea about the efficacy profile, because that's what's important in the end of the day. Uh, I will surely make a video, a separate video, about GT20029 as soon as Kentro Pharma releases the full results of the phase one clinical trials. And uh, yeah, that sums it up. If you guys found this video informative, please don't forget to press the like button. Also subscribe if you haven't yet and share in the comment section which other topics you maybe want me to talk about, whether about hair loss, vitiligo, or any medical topics that interest you. With that being said, stay safe.